What's good, YouTube? This is what you are back to all again with another YouTube video, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that like button. Come in, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time your boy drops some heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys all the equipment and programs I use as a digital artist. So you can check out some of those for yourself and see what a best fit you. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. <laughs> Okay, for starters, one of my favorite devices to use is my iPad Pro. And I'm telling you, man, the reason this works so good because you can be on the go. And at the same time, if you just a beginner and you don't know if you want to fully commit to being a digital artist, you will have an iPod to use for other things. You know what I'm saying? So if you decide that I don't want to do digital art, You'll still have yourself a dope iPod where you can do other things. A dope iPad, I said iPod. Well, this is an iPad Pro, and I think it's a 12 inch, 12.9 inch. And the only app I use on here as far as to do digital art is Procreate. I went to Instagram, I'm tripping. My favorite app to use that's on my iPad Pro is called Procreate. So I'm telling you, man, this is a amazing app. And to show you how amazing this app is, that's what I use. I use this app to create this. You know what I'm saying? So you can do a lot of professional work inside of procreate man so but one thing i would recommend you get if you gonna get the ipad pro is get you an apple pencil as well man just so you can get the pressure option and the pressure sensitivity see i'm gonna go to a brush just to give you a quick example let me go to a brush so you can see what i'm talking about see if i press light let me make my brush black if I press light, it'll give me like a light line. But if I press hard, it'll give me a thick line. See? It's like pressure sensitive. But I'm telling you, man, if you don't know if you want to fully commit, i go with an iPad Pro. Because just say if I didn't want to do digital art, I can just get on. Facebook or search the web or get on Google. It'll just be good to have you an iPad Pro, man. You know what I'm saying? So that's, this is a good device, especially if you like to do work on the go and you never at the house. If you never at home, but you like to draw and you just want to practice while you on the go, that'd be a perfect device to get. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not sponsored by Apple. So you know I'm telling you the truth, bro. It was money well spent, man, because I use this thing a lot. So the next thing we finna talk about is the drawing tablet I draw on, and it's called a UG. It's a 21 inch, and what you do is you draw right onto the stream, and this UG tablet is connected to my computer. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm gonna go ahead and try to find it online for you. Just say if you wanted to purchase one. I think they ought to start now because it's kind of like an off brand. If you have the money, the best tablet, digital tablet you can get is a Wacom. You know what I'm saying? But I have a UG. It's kind of like an off brand, but it's kind of like great value. You know how at Walmart you can buy the name brand cereal or you can buy the great value cereal. Basically, this would be the great value cereal. But it still tastes good. You feel? <laughs> Let me show you. Let's go to Amazon. Let me see Gucci. See if they still got them on sale. And what do you know? Why not? They got some on sale, but they ain't got the one with the. I don't see the one with the string. And this might be the same thing, just a different name. You know what I'm saying? Just find something to start with. Let me see. Oh, this look pretty good right here. It's a 20, 21 inch. I'm trying to find the one, exactly the one I got. 
I don't think they. Oh, here we go. They got it for dang six hundred dollars, bro. I see one for six. UG. So if you're trying to get like your boy cheat, that's the exact one I got. I'm gonna put this in the link below. You feel me? They got it on here for uh six hundred bucks. Six hundred. But look. Between me and you, nah, you ain't even gotta pay 600. What I do, I'm pretty sure all these things do the same thing, they just got different names, you feel me? Cause I done used some cheap art tablets and they wind up. Long as I can get the pressure option, bro, that's all I care about. But I'm gonna be honest with you, when I do get some, some more funds, I ain't gonna say more funds, when I upgrade, this one I'm gonna upgrade to. I'm gonna upgrade into a Wacom Cintiq Pro. You know what I'm saying? 4K graphics. I'm telling you, the display is crazy, bro. And the pressure sensitivity is, is dumb. So this one I'm gonna upgrade to in the future. But for now, I had this UG for like, probably like three years, bro. This same tablet. Probably longer than that, to be honest. So that lets you know, for this to be a cheap off-brand digital art tablet, it still did its job, man. It's still doing its job. I'm still using it to this day. And the thing I like about it, they got these pins, shit, that can handle you dropping them. Look, these pins come with the little cords so you can charge them. They got all my cords and stuff, so that means I just gotta sit there and find the cord I need. But yeah, they, they come with the cord. All you got to do is plug it up. You can plug it up while you still got the pin plug. You can be drawing while it's plugged in. Or you can draw without the plug. I draw without the plug. You feel me? But look, I'm finna see what else you guys can use that might work for you. You know what I'm saying? If you on a budget, I'm going to show you the art tablet I started out with. Let's go. What I started out with was a Wacom... Bamboo and it didn't have the display, but I'm telling you I did some amazing work with this tablet And you probably can find it cheaper than this, but I just want to show you the exact one That I used starting out and here we go right here the Wacom Bamboo It's the exact tablet. I when I first started, when I first ever drew anything digitally, it was with one of these things right here. And I will have everything in the link in the description below. I have everything in the link in the description below so y'all can check all this stuff out, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, that's the, uh, as far as the equipment I use, I just showed you the iPad Pro I use it a lot. The iPad to me, it's winning, bro. And iPad, if you need somebody to represent y'all, hit me up, bro. You feel me? I'm gonna make y'all look good, bro. But yeah, the iPad is winning to me because it's a one-stop shop, bro. It's truly a one-stop shop. It's unlimited what you can do with this. You can really, you can do your art on here. And then you can go straight to the platforms to promote your art and advertise your work. Man, it's it's amazing, bro. So the iPad Pro winning. Now, I already showed y'all the programs I use. So basically, I'm going to go ahead and run them down just in case you need me to do that. On the desktop computer, my favorite programs is Adobe Illustrator. Clip Studio Paint, Photoshop, and that's it. That's what I that's what I draw on. Adobe Illustrator, Clip Studio Paint, and I use Photoshop only to make my thumbnails and probably to add some effects on pictures I already drew or add my you know my watermark. You know what I'm saying? I use Photoshop for for the tool side of things, but. What I draw with is Adobe Illustrator, Clip Studio Paint. And the only program I draw with on my 
iPad Pro is Procreate. That's the best program you can get on this tablet, man. Like, and you know I ain't gonna lie to you because don't none of these places sponsor me. I'm just keeping it real with my audience because I love you guys. Create a game. We're going straight to the top on our road to a milli. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. Make sure you let me know in the comments what videos you would like to see next. What would you like me to uh, cover next? Make sure you stay tuned. Oh, he coming soon. I'm my DB.